What I'd like to do is bring you up to date with the uh, comings and goings of uh, the auction campaigns we've been running over the uh, past quarter, a brief look at the uh, current environment and maybe a look ahead of what may be happening for those contemplating selling over the uh, summer period. First of all, I'd like to cover off uh, success rates. Often asked, you know, what's happening? You know, will my property have a, a good chance of selling at auction? So by region, uh, Waikato over the last uh, financial year from 1st of April, 44% by auction day and 75% over a uh, campaign length. We conclude the campaigns for properties that didn't sell at auction but have sold since over their 90 day agency. Taranaki, very similar, a better uh, under the Hamer rate at 53% and uh, the same three quarters, 75% of uh, campaigns have now concluded with a uh, sold sticker and Bay of Plenty, a little bit tougher in the uh, Bay, 24% so a quarter of properties are sold by auction day and then a further 56% have sold over the campaign time. Now that brings together a mass of 320 sales of course at over $450 million worth of transactions. So whilst it is harder when you look at the reality of the volume and the value of sales, they've certainly been a impressive total. Of course prices have come back, sellers who are coming to the marketplace need to realise they're buying and selling on a similar marketplace and those sellers that are in tune with the buyer side of the equation are the ones that are getting the results. Our auctions are course less bidders, a lot of one bidder auctions so bidders you need to be comfortable with placing a bid with an opportunity to negotiate with the seller keeping in mind that both parties get to enjoy a cash sale and that's very much a paramount. All buyers, whether you're buying at an auction or buying in private treaty, do be, need to become unconditional to, of course, to buy. So whether you've got terms to approve before an auction to be ready or afterwards, uh, the unconditional call is still required. Now I want to talk about November. November's seen some great improvements in all of our uh, businesses across the, the different regions. So we're at 55% uh, of the uh, campaigns for the month have sold by auction day. So again, clearly ahead of the others. A number of uh, properties, of course, have been put under contract since those auction days. But that shows a significant shift in what's happened up to October, now into November, one of our peak months. Still 116 auctions to call before we get into uh, our Christmas holidays and our board shorts for the beach. Uh, but those of you contemplating uh, selling, you've still got a brisk week depending on the uh, opportunity to view uh, this video. Those of you who are going to be thinking about moving over summer, well, I'm expecting a very, very stable market over the uh, coming years. What I did want to highlight to you is the difference between the auction method of sale and all methods. A common question that I guess get asked all of the time, you know, why do we auction? And I can tell you from our national uh, database, all campaigns in our residential uh, world over the current financial year, in simple terms, auction will give you 100% or twice as much chance of selling than all of our other methods of sale uh, combined by the uh, 28 30 day mark when the auction is called. If you carry on through the agency, uh, the gap gets closer together but still over a 90 day agency, 40% uh, more likely to achieve an unconditional sale uh, through your 90 day period. What that says to me is that our owners that are coming on board uh, for auction, their properties are well promoted, uh, they're getting a great response from uh, our, our senior sales force, you're dealing with uh, cash buyers in that first 30 days, and then properties that don't sell, well they're coming to the market with price or by negotiation but with better feedback above the appraisal that was done before the property was listed to position the property better from a pricing point of view and therefore they are meeting the market uh, more readily than the other uh, methods of sale. So the clear deadline with the date, if you're thinking of selling in 2023, we'll be operating right through the uh, summer period. I'll be calling in, uh, in the early days of uh, February and then carrying on right through. The clear deadline will bring your buyers to a head to make a decision. If you sell on auction day, then uh, you'll enjoy the unconditional nature of the sale. If you're not sold, we'll be able to position your property so that we can capture that market over a shorter period of time to give you that greater chance than the other methods. So triggering that second wave, well that's important. We launch that from the auction day for those properties that haven't got a response and then we deal in a traditional manner with the parties that haven't been able to get themselves in a cash position, those seeking finance, maybe houses to sell and so on. So as a recap, I'm still the number one auction fan in the uh, country. I encourage you to be too. It gives 
gives you an opportunity for a surprise and November has produced many of those. Our brought forward and sold prior auctions up around 15% of our campaigns showing that the early bird is looking to get the worm. Love to work with you folks and look forward to meeting you over the coming months. Thank you.